Hello everybody, my name is Stuart Johnson and this is the first lesson in learning to speak Fijian, learntospeakfijian.com. This is the alphabet and unique letters in the Fijian language. Let's get started. The letter A, we're going to start with Ambava. Everybody say Ambava. A, B, A, C, A. Ambava. That gets us to our first unique letter in Fijian language, the letter B. B has an unwritten M before it. So with the with the the name of this village here in the west side in the mountains near Lotoka above Lotoka it's Ambada. The M goes before the B. We're going to see that a bit more. Second word, letter B. Second letter, letter B. Bulambula. Bulambula. We're going to see that letter B again. Have that M before it. Bulambula is a Fijian word for healthy. All right? C, our next letter. The word is vaka vaka. Vaka vaka is a noun in Fijian meaning work. All right, this brings us to our second unique letter in Fijian, the letter C, which is a TH sound. All right, we're going to see this play out through the rest of the alphabet and some of our other words. Vaka vaka. C is a TH. Moving on, we've got the letter D. The Fijian word is dende. Everyone say dende. All right, dende. Special character, the letter D. It's got an unwritten N before it. So this word is spelled D-E-D-E, -E, but we put that N before that second day. So it's Dende. That Fijian word means a long time. You might hear Fijian say, hey, San Dende, which literally means it's been a long time. All right, moving on. We've got the letter E. E is an interesting word. E, the, the letter E uh, is all over in Fijian and it it gives direction, it gives emphasis. My word for this is endua, all right? It could be endua, erua, etolu, eva, elima. Those are numbers. If I'm gonna ask for something to drink or something to eat, and I only want one, I'll, I'll say, kere endua, endua, one. Kere erua, two, I want two. Kere is a Fijian word, later lesson. Kere, can I please have endua? whatever the thing you want. All right, moving on. We got another special character, the letter G. We're gonna use this word right here, nanga. Can you say that one? Nanga, nanga. This word in Fijian, it's a weird one. It's in the back of the throat, na, 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 na. All right, and if you've seen this, uh, if you're an English speaker, we use this, this uh, back of the throat G when we say the word sing, S-I-N-G. If you say, I like to sing songs or sing, no, no, it's that G in the back of your throat. There's a town here in Fiji called Singa Toka. Singa Toka, that's the easiest kind of sound to get, but it gets, gets difficult. This word right here, nana, that's a Fijian word for hot, spicy. Uh, it's got lots of, lots of different words. It also means poisonous, but nana. And there's an unwritten N before the G, all right, nana. Moving on, we've got the letter I. And for that word, we've got Ika. Ika is a Fijian word for fish. All right, moving right along, we got the letter J. You're going to hear this a lot. More than 50% of the community here in Fiji are Christian. This is Chisu, J-I-S-U. The letter J is a special character in Fijian. It's a C-H sound, a hard ch ch. In this case, J-I-S-U, Chisu. All right, moving on, the letter K. Got this word right here. It's this a lot in Fiji. Katakata. Katakata kata. Kata means hot. Right? Somebody can also be katakata kata if they've got a bad temper or if they're getting fired up. They're katakata. Kata. All right, next one is the letter L. Lasu lasu. Lasu is a Fijian word meaning lie or uh, liar. Lasu lasu. You'll hear this as people are sitting around a kava bowl or whatever, teasing each other, making up a story about somebody else, and they'll say, hey, lasu lasu. All right, moving on, we've got the letter M. We've got this. This is a standard Fijian phrase when people say uh, good night or separate for the day. It's mode, M-O-C-E. We're going to get that letter C back up here. It's a T-H sound. M-O-C-E is mode. Literally, it's a verb to sleep, All right? But it's also a farewell. See you later. Hey, mode. All right, you're going to hear that a lot in Fiji. Here we go. Moving on, the letter N, nandi. Here's our word, nandi. We're going to get that special character again. We saw in Dende, the letter D, N-A-D-I. We've got an N before the D, Nandi. All right, pretty straightforward on the letter N. The letter O, right here, this is a pronoun for you. Oiko, 
Oiko, we're gonna hear that a lot. And a lot, before pronouns, you can put the letter O. It goes before people's names, names of villages, names of cities here. The letter O is huge in Fijian. Um, you're gonna see it a lot, and we're gonna use it a lot throughout the lessons, all right? Next one, super special, unique letter in Fijian, the letter Q. This word right here is Gito. Gito is spelled Q-I-T-O. The letter Q is a hard G sound. Ga, ga, ga. In this case, it's Q-I-T-O, so it's gi, gito. That's the Fijian word or verb for play. All right, it could also be a game. Uh, I'm going to go watch the game. Gito is also uh, the rugby game, the, the whatever. The kids are outside playing. Hey, gito itumba, play outside. You can hear that word a lot, gito. Next word here is the letter R. The next letter, letter R. Word is rara. R-A-R-A. -A -R -A. Rara means a field, an open space. All right, we have the Rara Niwangavuka, which is the airport or the runway. We've got the Rara Ningito, which is the rugby field or the cleared field where people are playing games on. All right, Rara. We also call Rara that cleared out area in the middle of a village. There's always a beautiful green grass area of a village, and that's the Rara. All right, moving on, we've got the letter S. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the word right here, Singa. Singa is the sun. It's also the word for the day. All right, what day is it? Singa Baba. Singa. It's literally the sun, and it's also the word for the day. All right, and we've got that special letter G there. S I G A. There's an unwritten N before the G, and it's got that na na na. Remember, Singa Toka. Same same idea. All right, next letter is T. The word is Tiko. T I K O. Tiko. Now, lots of people, if you've been in Fiji a long time, you've heard this letter slanged a lot with a chi. People will say, hey, chiko, chiko ive, which literally means, where are you? Oiko chiko ive. You're going to hear chiko all the time, but it's tiko written down. All right, so be aware of that. And tiko, it needs a whole lesson. It's a very, uh, that word is used for lots of different reasons. Great, powerful word to, word to uh, learn. We're not gonna learn all about that word today. We're gonna move on, just doing the alphabet. All right, moving on to the letter U. Here's a word for it, uvu, all right? Uvu is a Fijian verb to blow. It's one my son loves to say uh, before he's eating hot food, uvu, and we blow on it and he eats it. All right, next word is the letter V. Next letter is the letter V. The word is vale. Vale, V-A-L-E, means a house in Fijian. You're gonna see this if you're familiar with any other Polynesian languages. We've got hale in Hawaiian. We've got fare in, uh, in, for the Maoris and also uh, the crew in Tahiti. We've got fale for the Tongans and the Samoans. Vale, fale, hale. It's a word that spans across most of the Pacific. Vale in Fijian. Next letter, letter W. We're going to go ahead. This is one we hear all the time. The word is Y. W-A-I. Y is water. We've got Waitui, which is the ocean. We've got Wainranu, which is fresh water. We've got Wai. Now, Waitui is like salt water. Y is water. All right. Um, moving on, we've got the last letter in the alphabet for Fijians is a the letter Y. All right, which is the letter Y, not Y that we drink. Y and uh, the, you know, the best pastime in Fijian culture is... Munu Yangona. So we've got Yangona here. That's Kava. Fijian, in Fijian, it's called Yangona. And we see again that Q. We've got the unwritten N before the Q. And it's a hard G sound. Yangona. All right. Just right here are all those special characters. All right. B, C, D, G, J, and Q. All right. We're going to see all these. It's really important that we kind of get our Minds wrapped around this um, as we read in Fijian. It's super important to be able to pick up uh, resources in Fijian and be able to read them and start to get your tongue around it. Another important thing right here are the vowels. All right, these vowels right here. We're, in English, we say A, E, I, O, U. In Fijian, we say A, E, I, O, U. Those vowel sounds never change. No matter what the word is, it's always A, E, I, O, U. All right, so keep that in mind. If you watch this video again and you're reading along with me with these words, 
Ah, A, E, O, U, U. Hit them with those vowel sounds. That's it. That's 10 minutes. Learn to speak Fijian.com. See you guys soon. We're doing classes at Taste Fiji this year. And uh, we're excited to bring you these videos. See you guys next time.